Hello YouTube, uh, today I'm bringing you, no, you guys another video of my Acer Aspire 6920G. Um, just got in a new video card and I'm swapping it out with my old one. Um, this here on the left is the old one, this is the NVIDIA GeForce 9500M GS. And this is the new one, um, I've already swapped over all the mounting hardware and everything. Um, this is the 9600M GT. Um, and it's significantly faster. This one has DDR2 RAM, uh, and this one has DDR3, both 512 megabyte. Um, but this one, I should be able to overclock it pretty significantly. Um, but uh, anyway, I'm halfway through the process here. I planned on starting up my video earlier, but I uh, was excited, so I just jumped right into it. But uh, this is where I'm at. So. I guess I'll just see if I can set up the camera here and uh, get a shot of me finishing putting it in and everything. And uh, so yeah, let me do that. All right, so uh, this I'm pretty much um, already have this all the hardware on this card that I need. So I'm just gonna stick it in there and slap some thermal thermal paste on it and put it all back together. Um, I wish I could wish I could have started this up before I started this whole process so you guys can see but anyway it's pretty simple um, let's see here there it is and as you guys probably can see I'm not using the uh, static protection um, you know some people swear by it say you mess up your hardware but you know I I've, I've never had any problems so I don't know I mean leave me a comment tell me what you think static protection when you're working on a computer or not but personally I don't see the need for it all right well, I think I'm about ready to slap the thermal paste on there and get the heat sink back on. So, and I'm using uh, IC Diamond. That's the best stuff out there. If you're going to repaste your your hardware at all, definitely, definitely use this stuff. Yeah, let's see here. Wow, stuff is thick. Don't want to stick that easy. And if you uh, if you use Arctic Sil or uh, yeah Arctic Silver Five, you want to spread a thin layer with this IC Diamond. I mean, make it spread it thick put a lot on there because it seems to work better at least for me in my experience um, it's uh... it's a different anim animal than the uh... I see or the arctic silver five but, uh... Okay, let's see here has always been an odd setup on this machine so I'll just put the power cable back behind there if I can oh. out somehow. Make sure there's nothing on this. I already cleaned it once before but I always like to 
make sure get something that's not going to leave fibers on there or something and just make sure you don't have fingerprints on the copper contact there or whatever something on that one but I think that's just a scratch if I can figure out where this power cable goes I'll be good I should know taking this computer apart enough but I don't that must be it and I'll just push that straight down in there like that and let that uh, I see diamond compound spread out um, I just leave it in a dot on there and uh, usually takes about 10 or 15 minutes of run time to let it spread out enough to where it works to its full potential um, but this machine stays really cold um, processor probably runs probably about 10 degrees Fahrenheit higher than room temperature um, and of course first time having this video card in my machine so I'll I'll put in the uh, description box down below how hot it runs and uh, we'll see Alright, I think that's about it for that. Just gonna work this power cable back here and reconnect it and put everything back together. Let's see. Might have ran that wrong. I was just taking apart a little HP computer the other day, and uh, similar power cable configuration, so I'm getting confused here. Don't think the release. running under that heat pipe. I think that's the way I had it before. Yeah, that's it. And I believe that is it. Um, so here's the old card right here, um, and uh, there's a new one installed, ready to go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the fan back in here, close this thing back up, and uh, then maybe I'll run some benchmarks and see see how the new one does. Um, start overclocking. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And uh, you yeah, have a good one. Thanks.